Hey everyone, Michael here. Hope you guys are all having a good morning. Bitcoin right now is actually holding off pretty well. It's just kind of consolidating here, which is kind of nice to see. We had that initial bounce coming in yesterday. We haven't really done much else. What you are seeing is a lot of altcoins actually cooling off after a very good day yesterday. As far as I can see, everything is still bearish. I'll let you guys know when I see something very, very exciting about to happen. But right now, it seems like day trading is where you guys want to make the money. If you guys bought yesterday and you guys held over 24 hours, you've already lost out on some good profit. You basically just want to buy, hold for a little bit, and sell. Whether you guys are shorting or longing right now, it seems to be the best way to kind of approach this market. As far as the stock market is concerned, I was looking at some options plays this morning, but it looks like we're kind of... Um, we're almost in a spot where you can feel a bit of a fake out happening in the stock market just because some of the earnings reports have not been that good. And there's still some fear going on about what should be happening. So what I'm doing right now with my trading is I'm still trading a lot of oil stocks because oil is bouncing off its support level right now. I'm anticipating a much easier time doing some longs on some options as far as, you know, ExxonMobil, uh, Chevron, Schlumberger, things like that. Seem to be the easy place for me. If you guys want to go hop into something like NVIDIA, day trades and you don't want to hold more than like an hour or an hour and a half here. Those things have been wild. They are pretty pricey to get into, but I think they've been working out pretty well. Uh, as far as what's going on in the world, guys, as far as news, the real only thing I wanted to talk to you guys about here is because the economy is slowing down and we kind of have this fear of interest rates coming down as well. Or not the fear, but you guys understand what I'm talking about there. What we're seeing is a lot of people rushing in to go try to apply for homes because the rates are a lot lower. What this means is you may start to see more people list their homes for sale in the market and start to think about moving. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to... <coughs> <coughs> not entirely sure if they're going to be able to do that. Excuse me, you guys still got the cold. But I do think that more houses being sold, more houses being bought... I think that's generally a good thing here. People moving and, you know, houses being kept up to date. You could almost say that. But if you guys are looking into some of those real estate stocks, you may see a little bit of a haven there, especially if they have some dividend plays. The housing market has not been a place where I'd want to, I have wanted to be in for a very long time. And honestly, can you blame me? This market has just been shit for houses. So uh, that being said, I would still say oil energy is the best place to kind of hunker up and have some fun day trading. If you guys like big tech and you guys are used to big tech, it can also be good, but mostly everything in there still remains bearish and some of the smaller time frames still say, oh yeah, we can pop up a little bit here. But I think it's going to probably take a good, well, it'll probably take until next week until the stock market's ready to give you guys some really, really juicy moves that are very easy to spot. Those easy moves are what I want you guys to look forward to, not the hard, difficult trading that we have to do right now. And as far as crypto, with CPI coming out next week, we're really hoping for the first time that it's not going to be a crazy um, low number. We actually want it to be somewhat realistic and actually like hit the expectations. If it's too low, people may freak out and think the economy is slowing even faster. And this, this is going to mess up everybody's mind next week because everybody's used to saying, hey, we want CPI to be down because we're going to be reaching that 2% inflation. Now, if it's too low, people are going to freak out. and again say, wow, uh-oh, the economy's coming down, the economy's coming down. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens for next week. Plus, next week I'm going to have my voice. Uh, I do leave for Philadelphia next Friday. Get ready for that. I will be doing some video making over there, but I will not be streaming while over there. It's going to be from the 17th through the 21st. You will see me having fun with a couple of friends that I visit every now and again out there on the East Coast. Uh, but... I will not bring my laptop over there. I don't want to be rude and just, you know, work all the time while I'm over there. It'll be a mini vacation after all these little other mini vacations I've been taking for the, the crypto expos and stuff. So hope you guys are all having a good day. Please make sure to comment on this video because there is that new policy. All comments will be approved. I will respond to all the comments that come through unless they're bots. And I'm hoping to see uh, how this works out. With some of my more viral content, I'll have to see if... Um, how that works out, but I think most videos are going to start off for at least for the first 24 hours or 48 hours with only approved comments, and then I may open it up to everybody else, and by then the bots can come in and do their stuff, but for now, we're going to have a little bit of fun, so see you guys a little bit later on 5 o'clock. You guys can expect more videos like this in the morning. I wake up, I get my coffee, maybe even a morning cigar if I feel lucky, but I'm not smoking a cigar for a couple weeks after this cold, and we can kind of... uh. I don't know, enjoy some apple trees. 
enjoy a pine tree, whatever the, the heck that thing is, I don't really know. Uh, and maybe a couple deer that come through or some coyotes. Uh, more coyotes than deer, uh, if I do say so. But anyway, guys, it's gonna be a good day. Got some coffee in me. Uh, I'm still coughing a little bit here, but not as much as yesterday. What yesterday was bad. So we'll see. See you guys.